When City Services was introduced a few years ago, it was designed to inform the community of the services provided by the city, how government departments work directly with the community. As the economy changes, municipalities have to adapt and initiate new ideas to keep a major city on a path of prosperity. The City of Wilmington continues to direct changes at improving and tightening its infrastructure without interruption. Hello, I'm Sheila Friedman and welcome to City Services What's New. Well, what's not new and has been around for over 175 years is the legislative branch of government called Wilmington City Council. They're responsible for establishing ordinances and resolutions that promote the public welfare. City Council consists of a group of elected officials representing the eight districts in the city of Wilmington. Your council member is your first point of contact to assist you with concerns and issues within your community such as nuisance properties, vacant houses, abandoned cars, potholes, and any type of neighborhood issue. Council members also work with their constituents to help coordinate special services, such as neighborhood beautification, environmental issues, improving the infrastructure, or community planning. Your Wilmington City Council members are First District, Charles Potter, 2nd District, Trippy Congo, 3rd District, Eric Robinson, 4th District, Hanifa Shabazz, 5th District, Sammy Prado, 6th District, Kevin Kelly, 7th District, Paul Ignuto, and 8th District, Steve Martelli. Council members at large are Bud Frill, Mike Brown, Loretta Walsh, and Justin Wright. And finally, the council president, Norman Griffiths. To get more information on your city council person, you can check the city's website at wilmingtonde.gov or you can contact your city council office at 576-2140. You've heard the slogan, Wilmington wins when you pitch in. Well, get ready for Wilmington Community Project Day. You can start planning now for Saturday, May 14th, when people throughout the city will be participating in various types of projects to make Wilmington a better city. If you're not sure what to do, well, just look around the neighborhood and you'll see what needs to be done. Maybe a vacant lot needs cleaning, a corner area landscape, or pitch in to plant some trees, clean a block. There's just a number of things out there. Now to get started, you must register. And you can do that by going online to the city's website homepage at wilmingtonde.gov. The information is all there if you want to mail, fax, or email your form. But it must be in by Friday, April 29th. If you have any questions, call 576-3109. Well, it's been confirmed, you can now toss more items in your recycle container and not feel guilty. That's because the Recycle Bank in Wilmington has found a way to process and reuse certain raw materials that couldn't be done before. This is all part of the city's residential curbside recycling program. The expanded list of items that can be recycled includes all coated paper cartons and aseptic packaging such as juice boxes, gable top milk and juice containers, and food and beverage containers, such as yogurt containers, margarine tubs, lotion and sunscreen tubes, ketchup bottles, and microwave trays, but no PVC or styrofoam. We can be proud that Wilmington has been diverting nearly 35% of its waste to recycling instead of a landfill. Now remember, when you recycle, you get rewarded. And what about green living? Have you picked up a workbook yet? Well, there's a section on waste management, how you can reuse items that normally get thrown away, like using reusable bottles for beverages on the go. These can be glass, aluminum, or plastic. What about using a water filter instead of purchasing bottled water? Creates less trash. Shopping bags, oh, that's a good one. 
The United States uses over 5 million tons of paper and plastic shopping bags each year. <laughs> what a waste. Most of it ends up in landfills or flying into trees or the windshield of your car. <laughs> Replace them with a cloth bag. Okay, next, buy goods in bulk to reduce the amount of packaging waste. When it comes to disposable serving items, try to avoid styrofoam. It's neither biodegradable nor recyclable. Use cloth towels to clean up spills, to dry dishes, and to clean surfaces. Then there's that junk mail. There's so much of it these days, honestly, I could actually wallpaper a room. <laughs> you can reduce your junk mail by signing up to opt out. And for more information on that, visit www.privacyrights.org. There's a lot more to this section on waste management. If you need a workbook, call the Office of Constituent Services at 576-2494. In the meantime, just remember, when it comes to waste, think creatively, then recycle and reuse. The federally funded Neighborhood Stabilization Program under the Department of Real Estate and Housing has been buying up foreclosed, abandoned, and long-term vacant properties. The reason? To rehabilitate and make available for home ownership by owner occupants. The homes are priced below market and can be found in neighborhoods throughout the city. For more information, visit nspdelaware.org or contact the Department of Real Estate and Housing at 576-3005. And finally, did you know you can become a disaster volunteer and help the City of Wilmington in an emergency or disaster? To register, go to the City's website at wilmingtonde.gov and click on the Office of Emergency Management, and you can download the registration form. Also, you can take training classes for the Community Emergency Response Team. For more information on either program, call 576-3914. For the Wilmington Information Television Network and City Services What's New, I'm Sheila Friedman. See you next time.